Welcome back, everybody, to more Kirby's Dream Course. We're back. I said in the last one that it was a chill time, but Logan and I were fighting behind the scenes, and we're gonna keep fighting now. Yeah, I have a black eye on my... on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was not physical altercations. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, man. These, oh, oh. Look at that jack-o'-lantern pumpkin-y guy. How on earth did we get him? Okay, so, so <laughs> between recordings, um, only then did Brando think to inform me that I could do this. <laughs> Wait, I think try I'm it now. My, shot for this. my God! <laughs> oh! Yeah. You switched it to night nighttime, and apparently your star is mine now. I did. No, please! No! Oh, I got... Oh. Game! Kirby wins! I deserve that. Now I'm out of health, so you know what? Just go ahead and finish the level while you're at it. Well, I mean... If I... I get this... <laughs> Ooh, you okay. don't want to put... Happens if, what happens if I... Um, what happens if I... Pass that? If you pass the moon, it swaps our stars, so we'll just be even score still. Um, okay. Thank you. But Thank you, you would not, hit, like... You would hit the cup after, though, so you wouldn't swap those. You would only swap the the one and one, our scores. Thank you. Thank you for, like, um, not waiting until we finish recording before telling me <laughs> Shut that. up! I was going to explain <laughs> stuff to him, but he was going on a Wario tangent, so I didn't want to be rude, and I let him so rant. About, uh, so, about, <laughs> so about Wario again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll save it. Okay. Well, we'll get back to Wario quick. I just want to see you do this shot. Ooh, <laughs> it was so close! Oh my god. You're out of stem. Oh, we already passed the turn. You didn't have stamina. Okay, okay. Well. Uh, well. Uh, let's see what we can do. I don't know how much sauce I need. Maybe that much sauce? Yeah. You got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's still three more courses. Well, okay, you got three more courses. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, I see you. You know, Br bring it on. Oh, <laughs> this one looks funky. So here's okay. the, here's the deal. You see these green <laughs> trampolines here? They're kind of like bouncy pads. I don't know. Like, this could be like a monkey ball course. Maybe you love this. It's true, it could be. These are like little bounce pads, but I don't know how bouncy they are. And I don't want to find out because most of them are facing death. <laughs> this is a scary one. Let's, uh... Let's, let's tread carefully here. I'm already scared. Okay, well, I didn't bounce. I guess if you land on it with a curved shot, you'd bounce off it. I just rolled up to the green, so okay. nothing really happened. Actually, if this works out, you could just finish the level. This might be the shortest level ever. There's no way I could get over there in one shot. Oh my god. You scared? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I kind of am. Look at this. I'm just gonna bounce backwards. <laughs> um, I think if I put max power into this, I don't think I'm going anywhere, dude. Going first kind of blue. Ah, oh, not enough. Are you gonna fall off? Please make it fall off. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I think this level's as good as done. Yeah. That's okay, okay. It's in sweet. I'm well, still behind, but you know, I, I'm just happy that for my first time. Yeah. Also between recordings, so back to I was, <laughs> between recordings, I was also <laughs> like, you could be losing like twenty nothing right now. Hmm. 
but I'm not. No, we are. Difference okay. of four. It's not too bad. It could be worse. So back to what? Oh, these. Ooh. I believe if you hit the switch, it disables the spinny. Hmm. But what happens if I hit the gritty? <laughs> then you just automatically win, and I will give you my switch. Thank God. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, it's me. I forgot. Okay, okay. You get to go first, um, piss boy. Okay, piss boy. Okay. <laughs> you gotta hit me with, like, the grade school, like, I know you are, but what am I? I'm the video game boy. No. I'm the one who win. <laughs> Dang, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That was calculated. Dang I calculated it. that after I finished my shot. <laughs> Dang it, they're at opposite ends. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do us a favor and disable the spinny. Totally not a fluke. <laughs> I turned the spinny back on. Thank you. Dang it. I thought I could have so, gotten um, an angular. While we're balance. on the topic of Wario, well, well I mean, <laughs> wait, actually bringing up Wario. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, try not to bring up Wario Challenge. Impossible. Oh, okay. Um, so, I know... There's no shot. Star has talked about... <laughs> Star has talked about her reservations about... Or, like, her, um, distaste towards this, but... Um, I really like Pizza Tower. Granted, I haven't, like, started the game myself. But I've seen some gameplay and oh my god, is it sauce? Oh my god, no way. Oh <laughs> I my had god. to end things quick. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But anyway, um, Pizza Tower. Um, so viewers, for those who don't know, it's a... a Pizza Tower is a game that's on Steam right now. It's an indie game and it's basically Wario Land inspired. Specifically, Warland 4. Um, it got inspiration from the gameplay, the level design, and even the soundtrack. I, I think I read somewhere that um, they they directly um, not copied or like imitated sample, the sample. Motif. They... And it's a really nice game. Yeah, yeah. They took samples from Warland 4, and um, it's a really good game because. Similar to Warland 4, there's like, um, the way you, you advance through the level, like, it's fast-paced, it feels nice. It's like crazy psychedelic fast-paced, it's very Wario Land coded. It is, it is, and that really shows in, um, the way that when you finish a level, um, I believe you have to do an escape sequence similar under to like a crazy Warland time Shaken limit and, which is very yeah, Wario Land Land coded 4. and and to top things off yeah yeah it, it is and the protagonist Pepino um he's my boy <laughs> he's your a, boy um, I relate to him so much he's such a mood always so stressed out <laughs> yeah he's my I'll boy I'll interrupt you for just a second you see the green grass with the arrows on it that shit it slows is. you down to like a crawl if you land on that. So I'm not supposed to touch grass. You do not want to touch grass in this game. You need to be a gamer. But yes, Pizza Tower, it blew up earlier this year that we're recording this. And um, mm -hmm. I had some reservations about it because upon watching gameplay, I, I love the Wario Land games and I grew up with some of them and they're really fun 2D adventures. Uh, I'm still willing to give Pizza Tower a chance someday. I just had reservations about it because it's like It is really off the wall baddie, and I feel like it's hard to see what's going on sometimes They go all in on the crazy effects. How you do you know? feel about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel about the art style? I, I remember Star mentioning she didn't like Because Star was not style. a big fan of it and at the time I kind of agreed uh, watching some more gameplay of it though, like I get the appeal though. Like I, I don't think it's at a point anymore where it would completely turn me off from the game because it is pretty wacky, ugly. Also nice, you made it across the grass and oh shit. Why did I do that? You still have stamina though, so I you. I was be able cooking. To... <laughs> <laughs> you'll luckily you didn't run out of stamina though, so you'll be able to move right away. Um, so you know, maybe someday I'll give it a chance. I'm very famous viewers for having an insanely long backlog of games, and unfortunately, I like everything. 
so... <laughs> Um, maybe someday I'll give it a chance. It's on Steam, right? It is, yeah. It was on, it, it had a small discount recently for the Steam Summer Sale. And oh, that's yeah, when yeah. I snagged it. Oh, okay. But yeah, the art style. The art style, um, it was inspired by Spongebob and, um, I believe, I think it was comics from France. Yeah. It's really? Very, you know, there's like... Yeah, the, the comic strips you see on, like, um, French media, I believe. I did not know so there yeah, was I, a I believe, Spongebob influence. I actually really like the art style, you know, it's quirky, and... Yeah, there is, you know. <laughs> I can kind of, I can kind of feel it. I, personally. Now that you mention it, I can see where the Spongebob influence came from. It definitely has some kooky, crazy vibes. Mm-hmm. It makes sense, it makes sense. Uh, I'm just gonna be a jackass real quick. Okay. Like you always are. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like seeing this side of Logan because I'm not used to him actually be- Okay. Wang, wang, wang. Will you cut that out? <laughs> I've been watching a lot of classic Spongebob again recently with a friend. Uh, a friend of mine, she has a subscription to Paramount Plus. And, um, mm. it is really easy to watch classic episodes on there. And man, has it aged like fine wine, those first three seasons. Yeah, I, I, was, I was waiting for you to say, like, the first X seasons. <laughs> we did but, watch know, a, like... a smidgen of season four. There's some goodies in there. Mm. The beginning of season four. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. I'm out of stamina. Catching up to me, are you? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stare at you. <laughs> I got my criminally offensive side eye. It's that grass, man, because we're mm. stuck in the grass. <laughs> Aren't supposed to touch that. And that's why your shot was okay. all funky weird. Early SpongeBob, early SpongeBob. Oops! Oh no! I overshot. I had too much sauce. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Logan. I'm sorry, viewers. I'm not. <laughs> if it wasn't clear by now, it's kind of my first time playing. It's kind of his first time I... playing. Yeah, I kind of. Oh. Feel like I... oh. I have to make that clear. <laughs> I'll. G <laughs> I'll be polite and give you a pro tip, Logan. There's a daytime switch mm. up there, and if you hit that, our points are going to swap. Yeah, yeah. So it's up to you what you want to do here. It's looking kind of grim. Another thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Another thing about Pizza Tower. <laughs> okay, like, I didn't know I was playing with a 12 year old. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I, I really have. I really. I really have. Um, ever since you hit me up and said, "Hey, we're gonna." If you're free this, if you're free sometime this week, you know, you, you, can, you should record and stuff. And so, like, I did some reading up on, like, Wario. <laughs> no, like, I'm, Wario I'm Wario, happy. Wario I'm... Land, and, like, by extension, like, Pizza Tower. Man did but, his homework but... <laughs> and is giving me content. I don't have to say a thing. I'm here for it. <laughs> but, but, yeah, did you know that the game has jump scares? <laughs> yes, that I actually do know because... One thing you should know about me, viewers, is even if I haven't played something, I know about things, okay? I'm the news guy. I know everything. <laughs> and <laughs> one thing you should know is that I'm a giant Freddy cat. And I heard that Pizza Tower has jump scares. They're not... I heard they're not that bad, though. It's not like... Because it's a platformer. This is not what the game's made for. It's supposed to be a crazy psychedelic experience, you know? Like, it's just... It's just it just fits right in, doesn't it? Mm. And um, these jump scares, although I haven't seen them myself, they're apparently Five Nights at Freddy's inspired. <laughs> I think. Isn't it interesting but when, that's what when new games come out and they like take from stuff? Like not take from stuff. I don't mean it like yeah. like in that way, but like it's so interesting when they take inspiration from <laughs> modern trends because you're not used to seeing that in 
big game releases, right? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Especially triple A's. Like, only ones that are made in America and the West are very, like, pop culture-y, but it, it's, it's, it's its own kind of, like, special kooky crazy. I, I've heard some songs and some samples from Pizza Tower, and they even give me freaking Mario Sunshine vibes with the doo doo doo, like the the yes, acapella, yes, yes, yes. the acapella kind of stuff, mm. you know? The, the floodless, the floodless levels. Also, yeah. it was my turn the whole time. I am so sorry. I didn't even realize. Now you yeah. got me just talking my brain off. <laughs> I don't have an off <laughs> switch, is what you should know. Oh my god. Yeah, everybody likes that Hurry Up song, just like how Wario Land, uh, Logan already explained in the previous episode when, uh, you're running out of time, or it was this episode, I don't even know anymore, when you're, when you have to escape the level, right? They got this crazy, awesome, frantic song. I, I don't, I, I don't have a feel for the sauce yet. Yeah, it's our first match on here, and... But yeah, I knew um, it was gonna be Flop so, City, so I was like... so, um... <laughs> Just so uh, There we go. I guess the last thing I'll say about Pizza Tower is like, um it feels really nice. Like like um classic Sonic um classic Sonic feel of gameplay, you know. It feels nice to like be speedy. You know? That is really good. I'm glad that um it, it feels good. There's nothing better than like complimenting a game and that it feels good. Because it sounds like a no-brainer, like all games should feel good, but there's some games that have that buttery smooth feel, you know? Oh my yeah. god, I'm so bad. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever, man. You think you're bad but at this? <sighs> no, you're just trying to make me feel better, man. No, I I'm actually better. trying to win. Yeah, you can't you kind of You kind of, wow, you kind of flubbed that one real hard, man. <laughs> wow, I noticed. But yeah, on that note, on that note, what um of games that don't feel good, um, I, you know, I, I'm probably gonna get people mad when I say this, but I think one game that I don't. Oh my God, I, I don't think I, mm, I think it's your power meter thing that's being wonky. You know the up and down, like the first meter? Yes. You went all the way down on that, right? Yes. Also, sure. I'm not supposed to, so... Maybe not so all the way I down. If I want to go straight, Okay. Because, okay. like, this first... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sorry! <laughs> the hell? This is the game that never ends. Eh. Anyway, anyway, um, in in terms of games that don't don't feel good, um, <laughs> Kirby's Dream Course for the I'm Super Nintendo. Get, people are gonna get mad at me, but um, I I think one game that doesn't look it doesn't look like it feels good, but um, no 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 no, no, no. um, Sonic Frontiers. Interesting. <laughs> like when I watch um, when I watch gameplay of. Wait, are you gonna fall off? I was when I watch gameplay of the combat, <laughs> when I watch gameplay of the combat, um, I guess the way you, whenever you attack enemies, it doesn't, like when I watch it, when I watch it, it, it doesn't look satisfying, you know? Mm, it doesn't feel like good to feels, you. It feels like you're just wailing on the enemy. Like I... You have all these, you have all these cool moves, but. Um, I wonder how it feels, you know? I, but yeah, it's, it's interesting, right? Because uh, I have not played the game either, but I have heard from not one, but two people say very similar things. Oh, so I'm not wrong. And I'm just, I'm not talking out of my ass. No, because like, I've, li <laughs> I've giving... listened to two people that 100 percent of the game, right? So it's... Mm. Yeah, please just end this. Oh uh, no. Maybe I won't. <laughs> You see, all my skill that I had in the previous episode is yeah, just gone. Saying? Oh my god. If you pushed me off, I would have actually killed myself. <laughs> Alright, now it's your turn to end this for good. 
you were saying you were saying about like two people who 100 percent it right like i i heard their opinions they were both one of them is star uh they're both huge longtime fans of sonic and have endured a lot uh, being a sonic fan of course right mm. let's just keep inching our way until one of us gets it Honest, little did you know this was my real plan for more content because we were going to finish faster than the first half. You're in the way, so I still can't finish it. Get out of here. Bro! Get out of here. You know, I, don't, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this man came to for WarioWare. He came prepared with his Wario five paragraph essay, and I gave him golf. Dude, I'm not. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna overshoot and I'm scared. Here we go. There. I'm almost in. I'm almost in. That's when you know we're hard focused now. How do you keep falling off? Bro. How do you I... keep falling off? How come I'm not falling off? Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. I get... Try... <sighs> hmm. No, you know what? I don't feel sorry. You've had 50 chances to flip the score and you were nice and didn't. Oh my god! <laughs> You had 50 chances to flip uh, our scores. I will take this. <laughs> uh, Maybe this is why no one wants to play golf with me. Whee! So how is Super Rush? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. It's just they let the game die like every Mario sports game on Switch. I could go off on a rant about that. That game... I encourage you to do so. <laughs> My god. That game... It feels good. It, But they decided to do the thing where they released the game half-baked. I'm sure you've heard this song and dance before. Mm -hmm. Game is half-baked. We get free content updates, but... They stopped after barely a year. And by the time <laughs> they finished updating everything, everybody moved on. You know what I mean? Not to mention, it's, it's always like, it's always like, hard to recommend it's to other Switch times. games. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Well. It's hard to recommend Switch games sometimes because it's it's full price, right? And it's like what you're getting at launch is not even done yet because they're gonna add more basic features that could have been there from the start, and the game feels bare bones because they're like, it has online that'll keep you entertained, right? But like. Man. For how long? For how long? By the time <laughs> they added all the new content, anyone who had that game's like, I don't want to boot up Mario Golf Super Rush, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our podcast featuring Kirby's Dream Course in the back. We, uh, <laughs> we definitely had a time. And will we continue the other courses? Who knows? It could be something we come back to. We'll see. But hopefully you enjoyed our little game. Uh, Logan's face is uh, pretty accurate. And we will see you back here again soon. Goodbye. I'm Angie. <laughs> <laughs>